The story starts with a person struggling to balance on a tightrope. Nearby, students and parents gossip about his troubles, saying he's always in fights and causing problems. They think he's too dangerous to even look at because he doesn't know how to interact with others. They insult his appearance, like his refusal to dye his hair black, and even say he's cursed because of the color of one of his eyes. Everyone finds him disgusting, and eventually, he falls off the tightrope. Then, we meet our main character, Sakura, who is angry. He believes in strength and doesn't care about weakness. Some guys harass a girl nearby, and she jokes about wanting to throw eggs at them, but Sakura warns her against it. When Sakura sees weakness, he interferes. He confronts the harassers, telling them it's lame to act tough so early. The leader tries to fight Sakura, but Sakura easily defeats him. Sakura demands they remember his name and face so they can warn others to stay away from him. He wants weak people to fear him and strong people to know where to find him. He declares himself as Sakura Hakura from fear in high school. After dealing with the harassers, Sakura tries to leave, but the girl stops him to thank him. Sakura is surprised, wondering if she's talking to him. She confirms she is and thanks him. Sakura clarifies that he didn't help her to be nice, he just beat up those guys because they annoyed him. Sakura refuses the girl's offer to eat together, but she ends up feeding him anyway. She notices he's not from around here, as it's rare for outsiders to visit. She explains that the gang he fought causes a lot of trouble, and the town's safety is basically non-existent. She admits she's not from here either and introduces herself as Takabana. Sakura is puzzled by her kindness, knowing most people would be afraid of him, especially after the fight. He reluctantly eats the food she offers, surprised by how good it is. He mistakenly calls it take off instead of take out, and Takabana corrects him. Takabana notices Sakura's unusual eye and hair colors, but finds them fascinating rather than off-putting. Sakura, however, thinks she might want to fight him because of it. He's surprised because most people are put off by his appearance and insist he dyes his hair. Sakura explains he came to Furin for fighting, not looks. Furin is where students with poor grades but excellent fighting skills end up. They fight daily to determine who's the best, even on holidays. Sakura aims to be the top fighter there. Takabana finds Sakura's goals ambitious, but Sakura admits he's not very bright and fighting is all he knows. To him, being the best fighter is everything. Takabana notices he's already in school uniform, even though school hasn't started yet. Sakura explains he just moved and didn't have other clothes. Embarrassed, he suggests taking their argument outside. As Sakura leaves, he reflects on the strange encounter. An elderly customer almost forgets his bag, and Sakura reminds him. The old man gives Sakura some candies and tells Takabana to thank him. Sakura isn't used to such praise and finds the town and its people weird, including Takabana. He points out his delinquent school uniform and strange appearance, believing normal people wouldn't trust him. Once, Sakura picked up someone's wallet, but they accused him of stealing it. Takabana then explains that Sakura made the right choice by coming to Furin, but she doubts he'll ever become the top fighter there. She even suggests he might not beat anyone. Sakura argues, saying she doesn't know how strong he is. Takabana acknowledges his physical strength, but says his problem is being alone. This makes Sakura furious, as he believes he doesn't need anyone else to win. As Sakura leaves, Takabana advises him to meet other Furin kids. He encounters a group causing trouble, including the guys from earlier. The leader insults Sakura's appearance, but Sakura ignores him. The leader is shocked to learn Sakura's hair and eye colors are real, not cosplay. Sakura smiles, accustomed to such reactions, but still seeks value through winning fights. Despite the leader threatening war, Sakura is focused on Takabana's words about being alone. He punches the leader again, declaring he's not avoiding people. Sakura vents his frustration about his appearance, knowing he looks weird but never harming those who insult him. This is just who he is. Sakura unleashes his fury on the group of thugs, determined to prove he's the strongest and best fighter. The gang tries to overwhelm him, but Sakura's skill makes it a one-sided fight. When one of the thugs takes Takibana hostage, Sakura swiftly knocks him out, warning the rest to keep the fight fair. Despite being outnumbered, Sakura holds his ground, defending Takabana. He questions why he's helping her, knowing helping others usually ends badly. Still, he continues to protect her. However, when one thug cuts his leg with a knife, Sakura doubts his decision to defend her. 
As Sakura braces for a bat to the head, a Furin student intervenes, stopping the attack. He warns Takabana not to mention her peril to a certain person. The Furin student effortlessly deals with the thugs and calls for backup. Sakura is shocked by Furin's intervention and wonders why they're helping him. The thugs, although outnumbering Furin students, are intimidated by one named Hiragi, but remain confident they can win due to their numbers. Hiragi instructs the others to quickly take down the remaining thugs. When Sakura is caught in a tough spot, Hiragi saves him once again and advises Sakura to stand back if he's hurt. Sakura angrily asserts that Hiragi isn't his boss and that the thugs were his to fight. Hiragi tells him to stop moving around to make it easier for them to protect him. Fakura is shocked to hear the townspeople cheering on the Furin students. Takibana reminds him that the town's public safety changed two years ago, thanks to the students of Furin. They're now known as the Windbreaker, the town's defenders, fighting to protect the community from harm. Despite their past as low-grade hoodlums, they're now respected heroes. After the fight, the townspeople thank the boys, recognizing their bravery. Sakura is overwhelmed by the town's kindness, rejecting their gratitude. Takabana calmly tends to his wound and acknowledges that despite Sakura's belief he's alone, he's not choosing to be. She believes the town needs his strength and refuses to turn her back on him, urging him to turn towards her too. Sakura struggles to accept it all but eventually decides to join the others. He acknowledges the appeal of being the town's shield and defeats the gang's leader terrorizing the town. As people watch in shock, Sakura wonders if they'll really stand by him. Bringing the episode to an end, 